so today I'm going to show you guys some things that I got right, oh, can you see it? Right over there from Walmart and Dollar Tree because today I'm going to be working on my um, lesson plan bins, like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then copy or whatever. I'm gonna show you guys what I bought from Dollar Tree that to put in my prize box. I already have some stuff in there, but I'm gonna have to go through that and see. I'm also gonna be sanitizing everything, probably not on the camera, but obviously before I bring all that stuff to the classroom, I'm going to be sanitizing it for safety measures. I honestly don't even know if I'm going to be able to do a prize box this year um, for my first year teaching because of, you know, COVID and if I have multiple, if I have kids constantly putting their hands in there, you know, I don't know. I just wanna have some things ready for once I start applying. And if you're wondering, no, I have not started applying yet because I I graduated, but I'm still technically taking two classes. Tomorrow is July 1st, so I finished my first month of classes. And I wanted to see how the semester was gonna go first before I started um, deciding if I wanted to start working or not. Because I don't wanna have to, you know, stress about work and then I have all this schoolwork, but Honestly, I haven't had that much work to do, and summer classes are typically a lot of work, so yay for me! I feel weird knowing that nobody's really talking about everything that's going on right now, and a little bad honestly, because, you know, like I was, I said on social media before that, you know, the energy that you guys are showing now during the protests and posting on social media have that same energy when all of this is over with and i feel like no one only a few people but i feel like no one really has that same energy and no one's really talking about it anymore and it's it's weird i feel like all we do is hear about stuff and we'll talk about it for like a few days or a week and then after that everyone just goes back to their regularly scheduled programs like nothing happened. You know, all I have to say about that is I hope this upcoming school year, whether it's distance learning or on campus, that more teachers and instructors and educators take into consideration black lives. That's all I have to say. Black lives and I, not just black lives, black lives especially, but any minority lives, anyone. I understand all lives matter, but like you've heard, all lives can't matter until black lives matter because all lives includes black lives but no one seems to really care about black lives that's why we don't like when people say all lives matter okay all right let's get into the stuff that i got from walmart and dollar tree this box which used to contain my sketcher shoes that i wear every day this is going to be used as my prize box is i thinking about putting like construction paper or some type of colorful paper all over and just decorate it a little bit so obviously no one will know it's a sketcher box but if you open it i already have a couple little things in there that i've accumulated and i will show them to you i have a toy car a little poof ball i have a mirror bubbles i have a little dinosaur i have tattoos in here i have little keychains erasers this is like a water sport thing so that's what i have in here so far not much but let's see what i'm gonna put in it so what i got for my prize box are a kid's favorite play-doh there are eight containers of play-doh in here and they're all different colors dollar tree is for the win from dollar tree these actually aren't going in the prize box, but I got some puzzles. Dollar Tree carries like little puzzles now. This is PJ Maxx, Toy Story, and this is a Disney Princess one. They have a bunch more. I just didn't want to get too many right now because honestly, I don't know how I'm going to store these. But I do have um, like lunch containers, like small lunch containers I can put these in that we don't use. So, there we go. My dog is just sitting here looking at me, sniffing everything as I take it out. Oh, you see the balls? Yeah, they, these balls are not for you. You tear up your balls. These are for kids. So I got some balls. Um, I got a bunch of these cars that I'm putting in my prize box. And actually, what I want to tell you guys is, the Dollar Tree has a big variety of toys and prizes and stuff. But some of these cars, they might have some cars that are like, you buy like one for a dollar. But they also have stuff like this in packs where you can get like three for a dollar. But I always 
get more for my money. So I buy the packages instead of a single car for a dollar. I got these for bulletin boards. I got more cars for my prize lock. Slap hands. So basically you just slap it and it'll stick to whatever you slapped it on. I got one of these because I used to love these when I was little. What's it called? A laser paddle ball. I used to love these when I was younger. It's double sided too. I got a little puppy play set and I'm actually going to keep this in the packaging. Things like the cars, I'm going to take out of the packaging so kids can just pick one car. But for little stuff like this, it's a set, I'm just going to keep it in the package. And obviously kids will not be able to play with them in class, so I'm going to have to put it away right when they get it. They also had dinosaurs. I got a package. They also had single dinosaurs, but again, I like to get the pet. I like to get the packs because there's a lot more in here for a dollar. I got more Play-Doh. I'm putting some Play-Doh in the prize box and I'm putting the other Play-Doh away for centers or for the sensory bin. I got two, actually I got four. Four Slinkies. I don't know if you guys remember what that is if you're an 90s baby. But a Slinky. I used to love these. I got four of those. This is a pack of butterfly bracelets. So just some random stuff for the classroom. I got two posters from Dollar Tree. It's a shape poster and there's a color poster. And then I got the class rules poster, which says class rules, follow directions, always do your best, be respectful of everyone, share and take turns, say please and thank you, raise your hand before talking, listen when others talk, clean up after yourself, work hard and have fun. I don't know if you guys knew this, but some Dollar Trees do have books, so I did get a couple more books. I got Shelly Learns to Share, Katie Learns to Be Kind, Paul Learns to Be Polite, Henry Learns to Help for Dollar Tree. All of those are going to be very helpful for a preschool classroom and teaching manners and being polite and stuff from 101 Dalmatians. And from Dollar Tree, I got Lion King. Then from Walmart, I got these Sterlite containers that I'm going to put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the other ones over there, Thursday, Friday, and then I don't know what I'm going to put right there. Maybe copies, but I don't think I'm going to hold copies in there. We'll just have to see. Maybe like important stuff to send home. Maybe. But wait, there's more. I have two big bins. I'll show you in a minute. I have two big bins that I needed more letters for because I ran out. For my Sterilite bins, so I can label them. I'm just keeping it simple. I'm going to put the little letters across here to label each of these. I think that's it. I think I will film myself labeling these, but I'll, it'll have to be later or in a few minutes because my camera is dying. So, fear me. Very quickly, for these, do you guys think I should put just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or should I put like Monday plans, Tuesday plans, Wednesday plans, Thursday, for, you know, you know what I mean? Should I put that or just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Maybe I should stick to just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Let me know down below. <laughs> So far, I'm missing a D because I missed. I tried. I moved. I had Monday like over to the side, but then I had to take all the moths and then move them over, and I messed up the D, so I had to get a new D. And now I'm missing a D. So I might have to go to the store again, yet again, to get more letters. And then I have to do this one Thursday, Friday, and then I don't know what I want this to be yet. So that's that. Those puzzles over there, I need to put in a um, container and label all of them so I know which puzzle's which. I need to clean up all this and put that stuff in the prize bin. And yeah, that's all I have got going on right now. <laughs>
my prize box I'm looking like right now. I'm keeping this in the pack just because it all comes together. I'm keeping this sticky hand in the pack just so dust and stuff doesn't get on it. And here's what my prize box is looking like. I actually put the whole, I bought two packs of Play-Doh and I put one whole pack in here and I'm keeping this for centers. So, Play-Doh, balls, dinosaurs, all types of stuff. I think this is a good start and it's really heavy. <laughs> so yeah, there's my prize box. And here's what I was telling you guys about. I think I filmed it, but I didn't upload it because I didn't like the video. So, these are what the letters are for. Oh, it might be a little too thick. Oh, who cares? Oh, well. But I got these letters from Dollar Tree. I just ran out of certain letters that I needed. So this is going to say Miss Kai's books. All my books are in there. And this one on the bottom says Miss Kai's lesson plans. I just need to fill in wherever I, I didn't have letters. And, yeah, so that's... This is my project for today. And then labeling my new Sterilite bins is going to be my other project for today. And I think that's pretty much it. I think that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.